Hi everybody, today we will discuss about uh, use and group administration in Unix. Uh, we have logged in into a machine called Solaris 16, that is uh, Sun Noise 5.10, now it's called Oracle Solaris 10 machine. The name of the machine is Solaris 16. So I'm going to create a user. I can create a user by just typing a command called user add. And if I'm going to, going to create a call, create a user call, Uvin Pro, then I just say Uvin, you should add Uvin Pro. So it will create that user. If I say logins as super user, I see the user created here. And automatically the user is given a user ID 109, which is the which is next to the last one. But only problem is this user will not have will not have a home directory. For example, if I go to CD export home, and this is the area where all the home directories are created, and say CD Uvin Pro, uh, there is no home direct no directory created under the name Uvin Pro because this command as it is will not create a home directory. So I'm going to modify this command. I will just say here minus D. I'm going to create home directory export home Uvin Pro. Since I'm in Bash shell, I can do command line editing and I can call the whole commands. I can cut and paste as well. Then I want to make the directory right away. So minus M and the name of the user is Uvin Pro. But, uh, but if I want, I can assign more properties. So I want uh, a default shell for this particular user. So minus S means shell. The shell is going to be bin bash. So I created a user. Oh, already there's a user called uvin pro. So I will create a user called uvin pro1. So I change the home directory also uvin pro1. Now if I see logins and if I grab only this user we grab all the users starting with UW. Oh, I forgot to say logins. I can do command line editing in Bash Show. So I see there is a user called Uvin Pro and there's another user called Uvin Pro 1. So now Uvin Pro 1 has a home directory, so I want to make sure that I am in this directory. So I will say ls minus l. Then I have a directory called Uvin Pro 1, for which Uvin Pro 1 is the owner. It's the owner. And this is the own this is the user's primary group. So the owner has read, write, execute for the directory. The owner's primary group has only read and execute. Normally in octal way we, we assign four for read and two for execute so 4 plus 2 is 6 and write will have 1 so read write execute means 7 and 6 and all others will have 6 now I now I sue as that user human pro 1 now it, it, uh, it the system executes a login script or profile so that has some uh, I can put some information into in that profile like welcoming that user or some messages for that user. Then I'm, I'm automatically going to that user's home directory. So if I see ls, there will be some profiles copied. These are the default profiles from etc scale directory. They are copied into this directory. And uh, now I'm going to touch a new file. When I touch a file, I will be the owner. The Uvin Pro will be the owner because I have logged in as Uvin Pro 1. He will be the owner. And owner's primary group is other. That will be primary group for this file as well. This file will be owned, owned by this user and owned by, owned by this group. So the owner will have this permission and the owner's primary group members will have this permission. If there is a user called Tim, if he belongs to a group called other, he will have read permission for this file. Now if I want, I can change the permission. I have logged in as Uvin Pro 1. I am the owner of this directory. I can change the ownership for people in this directory. So I use a command called chmod. Then I am going to give all the permissions. Read, write, execute for the owner. 
read write execute for the owner's primary group members and for all others I'm going to give zero for file one. So owner has all the all the permissions. Owner's primary group members also have all the permissions. Now I'm going to make another new another new group another group and I'm going to make uh, this user uwinpro1 a member of that group. So I have to use a command called group add which I cannot use as a regular user. I don't have permission. It doesn't say uh, it says command not found. So even if I have access to the command, I won't have permission. My command is not in the path, which is default, which is uh, which is set for this particular user uwinpro1. And also uwinpro1 doesn't have permission to add a group. So I will exit because I originally logged in as super user. So I exit now. I am super user. Now I will say group add and I am going to add a new group and I am going to, I'm not going to assign any group ID, I just take the default group ID and the new group name, uh, name is staff1. I already have a group called staff so I create a new group called staff1. All these groups are updated in a file called etc group. So I have a group called staff1, by default it's assigned the next available group ID which is 104 and there are no members. If I take this group ADM, ADM has a member called root and has another member called daemon. So now I'm going to assign uh, a, a owner, I mean a user to this group. So I will say user mod. I can, I can assign a group to a user in two ways. I can assign this group as is, as the user's primary group or I can assign this group as user's secondary group. So here I'm going to assign this group as the user's primary group. So mine is G and the name of the user is uwinpro1. The name of the group is uh, staff1. And the name of the user is uwinpro1. I cannot see this user as a member of that group. See, I don't see that user, uwinpro1 is not here. So I can also do another thing. I have another group called st1 here. So I'm going to make this user a member of that group, st1, but this time not primary group, this time secondary group. A person can be a member of 15 secondary groups and one primary group. So now if, when I check that file again, under ST1 I can see you in Pro1. So I can see only secondary groups in ETC group file. So now if I say groups, and the name of the user is you in Pro1, he belongs to two groups. Staff1 is primary, ST1 is secondary. Now I'm going to sue as that user and I'm going to create a new file. And now his uh, new new uh, primary group is staff1. So when I typed ls minus l, I saw uh, this that I saw that this file belongs to staff a group called staff one as well this is the primary this is the group owner of this particular file now i'll exit i, I will i won't exit i'll just say su that means i'm not going to change my current working directory i'm going to go as root now so still i'm in the current working directory it's for home you pro one ls i can see the same thing yeah, so I'm going to create a new file. I will say touch file 3. But now I'm in uh, uwinpro1. The owner of this particular directory is uwinpro1. But still as a root when I create a file, I will be the owner. Now file 3 will be owned by me. And my primary group is root. And that means uh, my owner name is root and my primary group also root. If I say groups, I have logged in as super user. If I say groups, I will see my groups. So I belong to a group called root as well. So that is my primary group. So that's why I see root here. So in this example, 
The root user has read write permission. The root group members have only read permission for that particular file. If I want, I can change the ownership, uh, I mean, uh, the group ownership of this file. So I will type chgrp and the new owner is going to be sys. Root can do that because uh, root has the power and also root is a member of that group sys. And uh, in this example, uwin pro1 cannot do it, but uwin pro1 is not a member of that group. So I'll say change group sys and then file one. Now all the permissions goes to the group members of sys, all these permissions. Everybody who are members of sys group will have read write execute for this particular file. In case I change the group name from staff 1 to staff 2 and when I, when I list the files automatically it is changed here. The owner of the new owner group of file 2 is staff 2. So I am going to change the name again bash I will cut and paste this I'm going to change staff 2 to staff 3 now if I see ls minus l this will this will be the new owner for this particular owner group for this particular file thank you everybody bye